In this video, I want to demonstrate how to add a roll pin from SolidWorks Toolbox to join these two parts properly through this hole. Before I do that, I want to make sure the toolbox is turned on. So I'll come up here beside the gear to the drop down arrow and go to add ins, and I'll make sure the toolbox library and the toolbox utilities both have a checkbox beside them and say OK. Next, I'll move over to the right side of the screen, go into the design library. Select the toolbox, and I want to work in the ANSI inch. Next, I want to go into pins, then into all pins, and then I have several pins here, and I just want to roll pin or spring slot it pin. And I want to drag and drop it into this part, so I'm just going to reposition the part a little bit. Because if I do it properly, when I release my mouse from dragging and dropping, the concentric mate will be added to this hole. So I'm going to click and hold on this pin, then drag it in here and get it near the hole. And there I can see it's in the hole. Don't worry if it says there isn't a matching size. When it's in roughly the right position, I'm going to release it. So it did see the size as 1 16th, even though it told me there wasn't a matching size. And I need to get the length right. So I'm going to go to the drop down menu here and I'm going to look at how long a 1 inch one is. And it seems to go way too far. If I click on it, I can't drag it yet. That's okay. It was dropped here and it comes out to here. So as of yet, I don't know the length I need. I'm going to put it back to half inch and I'm going to say okay. And SolidWorks assumes I want to keep adding this pin. I don't. I just need one. So I'm going to push escape. Next, I see the pin in the feature tree. I'm going to expand it and I'm going to see what mate I did get. Well, I've got my concentric mate. And again, if I don't want that to rotate, I can click on it and select lock rotation, but I don't care about that. So I'm going to click in white space. Next, I'm going to grab the pin and I'm going to move it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this face and I'll hold control, select this face. I'll release control and I'm going to add a tangent mate. So that looks good. The pin is not long enough. Let me just zoom in a bit. Right here, this orange arrow is showing me the other end of the pin, so I need it to be longer. To figure out how much longer, there's several things I can do, but the easiest is to go to measure, and then I'm going to measure the distance from this edge, and then I'm going to need to rotate around, and then I'm going to say to that pin, and if I rotate back and just zoom out a bit, move this window, I can see the distance here is just under half inch, 0.479. So I'll close that. And now I want to change the length of my pin. So I'm going to come over here to it in the feature tree, right click on it and tell to edit the toolbox component. So I have a half inch long pin and I'll change it to a one inch length. Say okay. And I've updated the pin. 